So I'm going to follow directions. We're actually going to cut it in smaller pieces. There, just like that. It says to cut it in quarters, but this is a big piece. I'm just using half of that yellow onion. We're also, I don't have any russets, but I do have these little baby golds. So this one's, I'm going to leave some of these whole. And like this one, I think, actually, let's give it a pretty little edge. I'm going to chop that one in half. But the rest of these are small. That's going right into the bowl. I've already peeled. I'm over on the carrots, but I really, really, really like carrots. So I'm just going to go ahead and give these a chop. Take these carrots, place them right in the bowl. So we have the onion, potatoes, and carrots in here. I am gonna just spray because I don't feel like digging out the bottle. So it called for like a tablespoon of oil. I'm just gonna add what I think I should add. Black pepper. You can add as little or as much black pepper as you like. I like black pepper, so I tend to add more. And we'll add some salt to the veg. I'm going to take these and just set them off to the side. So I'm just going to go ahead and add, we're going to add three cups of water. This is the stock, but I'm using the better than bouillon. So I just need to take out the jar and take out three teaspoons of that stock. Two and three. So like I said, I'm using the better than bouillon, the roasted beef base. And it's like one teaspoon per cup. So I know I need around three teaspoons. That looks about right. Put that right in there. I'm gonna take a spatula and see if I can work this into the water. Just like that. But if it's not fully like mixed into the water, it really I've made recipes where you end up with clumps in here and it comes out fine. One tablespoon whole black peppercorns. So I'm putting them right in there. Also, it calls for garlic and a sprig of fresh rosemary. We're going to go ahead and add some rosemary and thyme. So to this, I'm adding three whole garlic cloves. All right, that's done. I'm going to set that to the side. And this is where I'm going to change up the recipe just a bit because it just calls for salt and pepper and oil on this uh, roast that I have right here. So I'm going to push this back. I'm going to make like a little bit of a rub. Oh, I should probably use, let me, hold on, let me get a bowl. Be much easier, much easier to mix. So I'm going to take some black pepper, probably like a teaspoon or two, maybe just a teaspoon. There we go. And salt. Alrighty, this is how we're going to change it up. Just going to take a little bit of mustard, maybe like a tablespoon. This is a country Dijon mustard from Trader Joe's. Just use whatever you have in the house. I'm going to cheat, put maybe a half a teaspoon of granulated garlic in there, or a teaspoon, half to one. This is thyme, so I just use up all my fresh stuff. Probably like a teaspoon of thyme. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. It's Italian seasoning. And I picked up some crushed rosemary. Mmm. I'm not going to add as much as this. There. Maybe like a half a teaspoon of the crushed rosemary. So we got salt, pepper, garlic. I'm going to open this up. Cause I don't know where... Let me see if my bottle's right here. Yes. Yes, it is. It's right here. I'm using uh, some avocado oil. Maybe like a tablespoon or two. Boy, look at this mess that Lisa's made. Let me move some of this stuff off to the side. I can clean up later. I'm just going to take a fork, mix that all together. Bring that roast closer, and we're just going to take that paste like I do on all my roasts, and we're just going to cover it, massage it into the roast. Turn it on its side. Mm, mm, mm. Sorry, I can smell this cooking already. <laughs> I really can. Let me borrow some from the top and put it on the side here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually take that roast 
and we're going to place it right in the center of this rack. And I hate to do this because it's going to make the counter a mess, but I do want to spray the rack. Because I think by spraying it doesn't stick as much. It's easier to clean. I don't know if it is or not, but in my mind, it might be. I'm going to go ahead and place that roast right there. Yes. Now we're going to use a thermometer. We're going to put it in the fattest part. We're going to actually have to go this way into the roast. Is that center? Try to center it and get it right in the center. Just do the best that you can. Okay, there we go. So that's in there. Put this off to the side. You're going to take your... This is the first time I'm making this recipe too. Oh, that's all icky there. Shoot, hang on a second. I guess I shouldn't have. I should have done it over the sink at least. Messy, messy. <laughs> All right, so there's the bowl. You're gonna take the roast. Gonna go ahead and put the place the roast right in there. Just gonna make sure the thermometer hangs out. We're gonna take the vegetables and just kind of put the veggies around the meat. Oops. It's exchange, so everybody gets a bit of the flavor. Okay, that's it. We're gonna pick it up, bring it over to the foodie. So there it is in the foodie. I made sure the thermometer is pointing back because that's where the thermometer is right there. Pull this piece out. Make sure you place it like in there just to keep it safe. Take this thermometer, put it right in here. There we are. Go ahead and close the lid. We're going to do rare, which is one beef preset steam crisp. And go ahead and hit start. And we're going to see how long this takes to cook. Where's my phone? I gotta start timing these for the you guys just to say, hey, this is how long it took. This is how long it takes to cook. Now, mind you, this is a 3.9 pound roast. So it's a bit larger than the last one. So we're gonna do a stopwatch. I'm like 30 seconds behind, but I'm gonna let this go and then I will let you know. I'll come back in a little bit to sh show you the progress. Okay, everybody, I just wanna give you a quick update. I should have showed you the screen, but. The tripod's all set to open this lid. Um, my, our target temp is 110. The probe temp right now is 104, so it's going to be soon. All right, I changed my mind. I, I just want to show this to you. So as you can see on the left, this is our target temp, which is rare, 110. And the probe temperature right now is 104. So it shouldn't be that much longer until this is done. We are at 109 degrees. We're almost there. This is, this is like ex super exciting. Now I have to let this rest. Okay, we're done. Whoa. Okay. Let's open her up. Okay, watch out. When you guys open this, just please be careful of the steam because it's going to be hot. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, it's got steam in my face. Oh, that looks lovely. Nice crispy. Ooh, the carrots and stuff got crispy. <laughs> yeah, they got a little crispy. All right, they said to take the veg out, if we can do that. They probably wouldn't have turned black like this if I used a two-pound roast. So that's probably my fault. But yeah, carrots are kind of burnt. Potatoes look good, though. So I've taken all the veg out. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this thermometer out. There we go. And I'm going to take the roast out and put it over on the counter. Veg is here. I'll bring that over. Put it over here. I'm going to go ahead and shut the Ninja Foodi off. What am... Oops. Hang on. There we go. Whoa. Okay. And that's what we're left with. Some veg kind of fell in. Now I'm going to do the best I can to strain this and put it back in this bowl. There's actually not much left. So you might be able to make a bit of gravy for this roast. So this is what's left. There's a few bits in there, but um, I hope that's not a peppercorn. Let me see. Yeah, it is. Shoot. I really need to get some cheesecloth since I don't have a fine strainer with me. What you're going to do is you're going to turn your Ninja Foodi on. That's five. I'm actually going to turn it down to four right now because this is going to come up to a boil very quick. And I need, I need to mix the water and the cornstarch together. Go ahead. Plug. Oh, the thermometer's missing. Let me just put that back in there. 
There we go. So that's going to start heating up. Let's go over to the counter. I'm just trying to do this quick because there's not a lot of juices left. So we're just making a slurry. So this is cornstarch. Oh wow, it's a brand new one. Cool. Oh boy. Uh, oh boy. I'm gonna put that in the sink for now. Take care of that later. So you have three tablespoons of water in here. I'm gonna go ahead and add three tablespoons of cornstarch. We might not need all this whole thing because there's not a lot of juices left there. And yeah, I just made a big mess. I'm gonna take my whisk. We're gonna make a slurry. There you are right there. Oh, let's keep that whisk with us. Let's go back over. So this should come up to a boil pretty quick. I'm going to bump it back up to five. Maybe not. There we go. Just bumped it up to five to bring it up to a quicker. Since there's not a lot left, I'm only going to add like a tablespoon or two tablespoons of this slurry. I'm going to see if this thickens this gravy. So it's coming up to a boil nicely. I kept the reserve just in case. Let me grab it. I do not want this to burn. Yeah, see, it's sticking up nice. Yeah, it might be too thick. Like I said, there's not a lot of liquid. Yeah, this is going to be super thick greedy. <laughs> so that's done. Go ahead and shut your Ninja Foodi off because it's at the desired consistency right now. I am going to take that immediately out of there. Whoa. All right. I'm going to bring this over, this roast. Oh, yeah. It's got lots of juices. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. We're going to cut a, excuse me, a few slices off this just to give it a go. Let's see here. Now, the outside, of course, will be well done. And there actually are some dogs around here that I can give that to. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting to the good stuff. I'm going to cut a few pieces because we got that gravy. God, that is tough out in here. There we go. It's going to cut a thicker piece. Well, it might be a little too thick, but look at that. Beautiful. Put some of the gravy. Wow, that's close. The gravy on the meat. Look at that. Mm, let's try it. I'm so excited. Let's dig in. The taste is really good. The meat's a bit tough, but that's normal for this cut. But it's not too tough, if that makes sense. I think it's a rump roast I picked up. So, I'm gonna see if I can uh, cut this potato in half. The gravy's actually pretty good. I'm a little, um, I would say, might be a little salty for some. To me, it needs a little bit more pepper and stuff. But here's, here's the potatoes, put some gravy on them. Mmm, good. And my favorite, the carrots. Oh, so good. So yeah, I would actually make this again. I really would. However, I would like to try a smaller roast. Maybe if I can find a roast that's two pounds or two and a half pounds, definitely would like to try this again. But this is really good. I'm surprised. These meals actually, they're coming out pretty good with this, this machine. So, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more vids, and I appreciate everybody out there. Thank you so much. Dinner's cooked.